guys, before this video starts, let's try to hit five likes. Also, make sure you subscribe and you've clicked the notification bell so you won't miss a new video. Guys, right, someone gets you and say we're gonna play try hard again. Winter Royale tournament is going on. Well, it's not really the tournament, it's a qualifier thing. But anyway, I'm gonna do that. There's only 20 minutes remaining because I'm recording this at like 11 o'clock. Oh god, let's see what happens this time. Probably gonna get destroyed even worse. Well, considering last video got like way more views than my other videos, I guess I'm just gonna make another tryhard video because that one gets views. And I don't see where we're gonna drop. I risk it at the end of the bus, and I always drop there when I'm making videos, even though I normally drop pleasant when I'm not making videos. I risk it at the end of the bus. I don't really think anyone's gonna land there. And why is the sky purple? Why does Fortnite sky always have stars out in the daytime? I always wondered that. Back when I first started playing, the sky, yeah, this is blue, kind of. Back when I first started playing, it was purple. Which is really weird. It's blue and pink, but before it was purple. Which looked weirder, which looked weirder than blue and pink. Alright, doesn't look like anyone's going to risk me. Okay, uh, never mind, we have to someone is. There's always, always that one person in the try-hard matches, who goes to the locations where no one ever lands. They're probably also gonna follow me, because that's what try-hards do, they follow other players. Oh god, nothing's loading in. I sure hope that guy didn't follow me. Oh my god, I can see the basement when I do this. Oh, it's loading. Loaded. Please attack. No gun under there, but there is ammo. Oh my god, I'm getting like no FPS right now. Alright, let's see what gun's in here. In the chest, I think, in here. There's a chest in there. We got AR and dynamite, which is ridiculously OP for some reason. I don't really care that it's OP. I honestly think it's kind of cool and that it was a great addition to Fortnite. Alright, what's in here? We got another gray AR and some minis, which is good. You don't want to drink a big shield after you're found, and then find minis. That would just suck. And the sound is cutting out, my FPS is really low. Thank god I'm getting my gaming PC sometime in the near future. Ooh, Scar, let's go! Oh my god. I've always wondered why people chose the suppressed AR over the regular- the suppressed Scar over the regular Scar, because it did a lot less damage. The Scar did more damage. Which was, which was way better, like, sound? Not as good as damage. Alright, no chest up here, but there's stuff up here. Now you can break it and get mats. Like all this crap down here. Gives you lots of mats. Look how much mats I have after just breaking. The insides of two houses or one house. I don't remember breaking anything inside of that one. You can get even more mats when you break these fence things. Oh god. I am lagging so bad right now. Alright, I'm gonna go into risky and see if I can beat that guy. If I get killed right there, then I'm going to do another game, but if I don't then this is just gonna be the only game. Oh god, I'm not even gonna bother going to risky. Look how far away the circle is. I have to go past Dusty. Oh my god. Now that is the worst circle placement ever. Why, Fortnite? Why do you do this? Why? Why? Don't Holy crap, I have to walk. Not even all of Dusty's in the circle, and I landed at risky. We got a blue pump. I don't even have time for double pump in this video. Unless I come across someone. Then I'm just gonna drop this dynamite because I don't really need it. I really don't get why spells are in the game. You can just carry three guns and two meds. That's what I do. I, if I find three guns, like if I find a sniper, or shotgun, and AR, or two double pumps. Two double pumps? What the crap? Or just two pumps? And an AR or SMG. 
and then I find minis or bandages, then I don't really need splodes because you're probably going to get minis or some crap. Bandages and three guns. You, you don't really need splodes. Because you can just shoot down other people's faces. And really the only reason of splodes, like dynamite and stuff is, is to blow up clock tower. Because that's the most satisfying thing you can do in this game. Put an explosive at the bottom of clock tower and then just wait for the explosive to blow up. Boom. Satisfaction. The storm. I just... I think in my first season 6 video, I uh, mentioned that the storm looks like a blanket. It just looks weird. Like, through this, it looks like the sky. Like, it's like this... It's like there's this big hole in the sky or something? Like, the storm is part of the sky? I, it just looks weird. Like, I can't explain it. It just looks weird. I gotta break this crap to get some more mats. Hopefully, I still don't have the 500 mat limit. Because that's just dumb. No, it was also dumb the removal of glider redeploy. I know some people hated glider redeploy. I really don't get why. I mean, fall damage is stupid. It just sucks. Oh, I hear someone. <laughs> Holy crap, I had like 2 FPS the whole time. 15 FPS, I could barely even move or shoot. And this is why you shouldn't play with tryhards either. No one should play with tryhards unless they are tryhards. And uh, yeah, that's gonna be the end of this video. Thank you for watching. Please leave a like and subscribe for more Fortnite. See you guys on Monday.